channel. In this video, we'll learn how to set up Postman to call the Dynamics 365 Web API using the implicit grant type. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make authenticated requests to retrieve and manipulate data in your D365 instance. Hi everyone, I'm Diani, and today we'll walk you through the steps of configuring Postman for D365 Web API integration. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is to download and install Postman. Head over to the official Postman website, which is postman.com. Download the version that's compatible with your operating system. And once the download is completed, follow the installation instructions. Once you're done with the installation instruction, now let's obtain the URL for your Dynamics 365 instance web API. This URL will serve as an endpoint for our request. It usually follows this format. Make sure to replace your org underscore organization name with your actual organization name. To authenticate our request, we need to register an application in Azure Active Directory or better known as AAD. Here's how. Go to the Azure portal by navigating to portal.azure.com. Sign in with your Dynamics 365 admin credentials. Once you are in the Azure Active Directory section, register a new application. Provide the name for your application and specify a redirect URL, such as the one you see on the screen. Note down the application ID or client ID that you receive after a successful registration. In Dynamics 365, we'll need to create an application user associated with the registered application. Follow these steps. Go to the Dynamics 365 Administration Center at admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Select the environment and navigate to Settings, Security, then click on Users. Click on the Application Users and create a new application user. Assign the required security role to this user. Now we're ready to set up Postman for Dynamics 365 Web API calls using the implicit grad type. Let's do this together. Open Postman and create a new request. Set the request method to post or get, depending on the API operation you want to perform. Enter the Dynamics 365 Web API URL we obtained earlier in the request URL field. Now let's configure the authorization. Go to the Authorization tab, select OAuth 2.0 as your authorization type. Click on Get New Access Token to configure the authorization settings. Enter the following details. The token name, give a name for the token such as D365 or Dynamics 365 token. The grant type, choose implicit. Callback URL, specify the same redirect URL you used during the application registration. The auth URL, use the one as specified on the screen. The access token URL, leave it as blank for implicit grant type. The client type, use the one that we used earlier when we were registering the application. On scope, enter your Dynamics 365 URL. On state, leave it as blank. Click on the request token and grant the necessary permissions when prompted. Once the token is generated, click use token button to automatically populate the token in the authorization header. Great, now let's organize our request by creating environment variables and collection. In Postman, Click on the Manage Environment icon, which is usually the gear icon in the top right corner. Click Add to create a new environment and give it a name such as Dynamics 365 environment, depending on your preference. Add variables for the web API URL, client ID, and other required parameters. Set the values based on the D365 instance and registered application details. Once you are done with all of this, Save the environment. Now let's create a collection to group our request. Click on the Collections tab in Postman. Click on New Collection and provide a name such as Dynamics 365 API Collection or just D365 API Collection. Drag and drop your request in this collection, organizing them based on their purpose. That's it. 
we've successfully set up Postman to call the Dynamics 365 Web API. You can now make authenticated requests, retrieve data, and perform operations on your Dynamics 365 instance. Let's run through a test. As you can see from the test, we have successfully called the Web API in D365. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free.